All right, mathletes. So in this short video, what we want to look at is the standard normal distribution curve. So this is our normal distribution, right? It's bell shaped. But what we have to be careful with here is to make sure that you understand that your mean is zero and your standard deviation is one. And we're going to be talking about Z scores. And remember, Z scores is just telling us how many standard deviations are we away from the mean, right? And typically, you know, what from our experience, we've been working with these nice numbers, like nice Z scores of one standard deviation away from the mean, two standard deviations away, right? So this is what we've been working with in the past. And we had nice numbers because using our empirical rule, we know that 68%, uh, right, of the values of so 68% of that population is within that one standard deviation. So what we want to do is we want to look at, well, what happens when it's not exactly one standard deviation? And this is where our standard normal distribution curve here is really going to help us out. All right. So what happens when we have some messier numbers? So that's what we want to take a look at today. So follow me. So you're going to be using these standard normal distribution curves over and over again. Even if you're not using it directly, if you're using technology, your technology is going to be using it. All right. So here's the idea. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to have some information and you're going to have a mean, right? You're going to have some population mean. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at that mean. And when we standardize things, we're going to make that mean appear right there in the middle, right? Smack in the middle. And then you're going to have a standard deviation and then you're going to want to see, um, you know, the observed value that you're looking at that we'll call X, right? We're going to be looking at some value X. You're going to be looking at, you know, how far away from the mean is that value X? How many standard deviations away from the mean is that value X? So it might be, you know, say negative 1.5 standard deviations away. So, we'll just say 1.5 standard deviations to the left, right? Since it's a negative number. And one thing that we might be interested in is we might be interested in looking at, well, that value right there, whatever that X value might be, you know, what percent of the population is below that value? And this is where this curve really comes in handy. Or you might be interested in, you know, what population falls above what percent of the population falls above that value and using these techniques you're going to be able to answer this and what we're going to show you is how to use your calculator to find these areas right so today what we're going to do is only talk about the areas in our next video when we talk in statistics what we're going to be looking at is when they give you the area how to find these z scores right but today all we're interested in is in finding these areas. And so what happens is we have this formula Z equals X minus mu divided by a standard deviation. And what we would do is we would standardize things. So you would go ahead and plug in all your information here and you would get this Z score, this Z value. And what that would tell you is exactly where that number lies on our graph here. So let's say it was negative 1.5. So we draw our line at negative 1.5. And let's say I'm interested in that number to the left. So what, um, if you're using technology, that's what we're going to focus on today is how do I plug this into my say TI-84 calculator. So that's what we're going to dive into uh, today. So here's some things that you need to be careful with. You always need to tell your calculator, you know, what is it that you want? your calculator to look at. Is it this area to the left? And so let's, let me use this graph down here. If I only wanted to focus on this area, right, right here that I'm shading, well, I would tell my calculator where I want it to start and where I want it to finish. So in this case, because I'm shading everything to the left, I want to tell my calculator for my left value, I'm going to use negative one E nine nine and where would I want it to stop in this case I would want it to stop at negative 1.5 
So when we look at our lower bound and upper bound, these values are going to be very important, right? So again, when you shade everything to the left, your lower bound, what you're going to enter is negative 1E99. And we'll discuss, you know, why that is uh, later. And then let's say you were looking at the upper half. Well, you would start at negative 1.5, negative 1.5, that would be your lower bound in this case. And since I'm shading everything to the right, if that were the case, I would stop at 1E99, all right? So let's actually dive into the calculator to see how we would plug all this in. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at two calculators here uh, to, to do this. One, we're gonna use a TI-84 um, Plus in this case. And in the other um, video that's built in here, I'm gonna walk you through how to do this using one of your calculator apps that does a great job too. And so uh, half of you are gonna see a screen that ha looks like this. The other half of you are gonna have a screen that doesn't look like that. It just says normal CDF, and it's gonna want you to enter in all these values, right? So let's pretend this is the case. We're gonna find the area between Z equals negative 1.45 and 0.42. So we're trying to find this area here. And so what we're gonna do, and you're gonna see me doing this in the video, is we're gonna to go to second and then VARS, and that's gonna help us get to this screen right here. And because we're interested in finding the area, and this is what you have to write down in your notes, because we want to find the area, you're gonna use normal CDF. So whenever you want to find the area of this normal curve, you're going to use normal CDF. And in this case, our lower that we're going to be punching in, that you're going to see me punch in, is going to be negative 1.45. Our upper in this case is 0.42. And we said this is a standard normal curve. So that means our mean is zero and our standard deviation is one. And once you hit paste, right, it's going to give you all that and you hit enter and you're gonna see it provide us with this area. So let's go ahead and actually uh, do this in our calculators. So watch me do it. All right, first things first, we always need to identify the area that we're looking at. And I already said we're looking at negative 1.45 all the way to 0.42. And make sure you shade this, you draw it out, and you shade it every time. And that's gonna help you, especially when you wanna find the outside regions, because later on, things might be a little uh, tricky. So uh, this is a screen that we talked about. What do you need? You need your lower, your upper, right? Your starting and your finishing. And in this case, we're talking about standard normal distribution. So your mean is zero, standard deviation is one. And later on, when they give us other means, we could always make it look like this, all right? If you're using the apps, you're gonna, your screen is gonna look just like this. But again, here in Dr. Math Studios, we're gonna walk you through this. So we got a calculator, you're gonna go ahead and hit second and then VARS and normal CDF is what you're choosing, right? And then we're gonna enter everything in. So let me get rid of that. And we're punching negative 1.45. Our upper is 0.42. And again, our mean and standard deviation, it's standard. So the mean is zero, standard deviation is one. And there you have it, folks. It gives you this area. And just make sure with your textbook of how many decimal places you want around your answer to. So it's that easy, all right? So that's using your TI-84 calculator. So what does this look like using the actual app? So let's take a look. All right, Mathlete, so how do we do this using the T, I mean the graphing calc cal, um, app on your phone or on your iPad or your smart device? So I'm gonna hit second stat or second VARS so again, that's my orange button and then VARS. And then we're gonna go to normal CDF. And look at what it's asking us, just like we talked about the nor uh, lower bound, which is negative 1.45 comma, the upper bound, which is 0.42 comma, our mean zero and our standard deviation is one. All right, so it's that easy, but just make sure it's always the left point, the right point, the mean and the standard deviation and hit enter, and there you have it, the same answer that we got before. All right, so it's that easy, Mathletes. But if you have questions, comment down below what your questions are. All right, Mathletes, we got to the most important part of the video, 
and this is where you are going to try it all right so what we want to do is we want to know number one what did you plug into your calculator right as your lower and your upper your mean your standard deviation to get this answer so you want to find what is this area right here for part a and for part b what is this area here so we want to know all the different ways of how you guys are getting your answers and again comment down below uh, what did you enter in into your program right and then what did you get for your answer all right and the biggest part of this is don't forget to smash that thumbs up button subscribe and we'll see you math leads in the next video peace